Ring of Honor is celebrating its 16th anniversary in a huge way. Friday, March 9th, they have their big pay-per-view event, or you can get it on the Honor Club. Go to ringofhonorwrestling.com, and you can check that out and how to subscribe, which is awesome. It's going to be a huge show live from Las Vegas. One of the guys that's going to be on this show Boy, is he making an impact for Ring of Honor. Just the moves that he does, just the segments that he's in. Flip Gordon, thank you so much, Flip. Tell us about your involvement coming into this big Ring of Honor 16th anniversary show. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I have the opportunity this weekend to face one of the best super juniors in the world. Um, it's one of the cool benefits of a cross brand that Ring of Honor has in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I get a one-on-one -on -one match with Moru Takahashi, um, who I got to share the ring with both days uh, in my debut over in New Japan two weeks ago. What's it like for you being a part of this show? Has it sunk in a little bit yet? Because this is such a big deal. Yeah, I mean, 16 years, 16th anniversary. Um, it's one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. Um, so I'm really, I'm really honored to be a part of it. Uh, some are considering my match uh, to be one of the, it could be a show stealer tonight. Um, and so I always love when that happens because it has this natural buzz around it. Uh, I'm on the rise. Takahashi is one of the best in the world, like I said. And so to share the ring with them, it's going to be magical. It's going to be special. And we know there's so many other great matches on this card, but... I mean, I don't know about him, but my goal every single night I go out there is to steal the show and have the best match of the night. And that's going to be my goal this weekend. And the goal has been reached for you prior. Fans just love your work. It's incredible. This whole show, I mean, there's so many great matches on it. Ring of Honor World Champion Dalton Castle will defend the title against Jay Lethal. You've got a, a match that I think you probably are a little bit interested in, the outcome of this, with the Young Bucks and Adam Page defending their Ring of Honor World six-man tag titles against Soul Cal Uncensored in a Vegas street fight, and that's Christopher Daniels, Kazarian, and Scorpio Sky. What are your thoughts right there of that six-man wild tag? That match is going to be insane. I'm definitely going to be watching closely. Um, the Bucks are friends of mine, and every I learned so much from watching them in the ring. They just go out there and they just—it's like WrestleMania. Every single match they're in, they, they don't—they pull out all the stops. They don't take the easy way out ever. So I know it's going to be a crazy match. Um, I'm hoping they pull through. Adam Page—he's uh, not—he doesn't really necessarily like me, but he, he's. He's insane in the ring, so I hope that they can overcome uh, SoCal Uncensored and retain their six-man tag team titles. It's going to be just a big event, huge events and all. And Cody's also on the card that night. So what's going on with all you guys? You mentioned the Bucks, you mentioned Man and Page. What's going on with you and Cody? Uh, for some reason, Cody doesn't like me, and I don't know why. Because... Every time I've met him, every time uh, I've approached him, I've been nothing but nice and respectful. Um, so I don't know what his deal is with me. But last weekend I had an opportunity. Uh, if I beat him, I'd be booked for his and the Bucks all-in show uh, September 1st in uh, Chicago. Unfortunately, I, I fell short. I didn't get the job done, so therefore I am all out. I am not booked for their show. Um, I don't know what his, what his beef is with me, um, but I mean, I wish him best of luck. I mean, obviously he has other things going on, like trying to get his ring back. And so hopefully after he gets his ring back, or if he does, maybe he'll take it a little bit easier on me. Well, I'll tell you what, Flip, whether he does or not, you mentioned it earlier, you have an exciting match coming up there. So whatever he does, he does. But you just got to concentrate on what you got going on in the ring that night for Ring of Honor 16th anniversary show. And people could see it live on pay-per-view. It starts 9 p.m. Eastern, Friday, March 9th. It's from Las Vegas. 
Sam's Town Live, and it's also available on the Honor Club, which you can go to ROHWrestling.com. I'll make sure I give that out right. So it's ROHWrestling.com. If you want to subscribe, check things out there. And there's so many apps, too. You can see Ring of Honor. Flip, talk about your military background. I know this is something that you're very proud of. Tell us who you served with and just give us a little background there. Yes, I've been in the Army National Guard for almost six years now. Um, I enlisted back in 2012. I went to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri uh, for basic training and AIT where I learned my job. And when I first enlisted, I was stationed in uh, Moscow, Idaho. And I was a 12 November, which is a heavy equipment operator or horizontal construction engineer, as they like to call it in the Army. And then when I decided that I was going to chase this dream of professional wrestling, I moved to Massachusetts, where I reclassed as a 12 Bravo, which is a combat engineer for the 182nd Sappers. Um, so it's been, it's been a fun ride. Um, I love what I've done in the military. Uh, I love how much it's helped me with discipline, growing up as a person. Um, it's taught me so many things about life. And it's actually helped me a lot with wrestling as well um, because I'm able to run with this gimmick, uh, the Flip Army, which pretty much just it adds my military side so people can just kind of see a little bit different side of me. Uh, it's been really cool. Um, it's actually coming to an end in just a couple months. Uh, I made the decision that I'm going to step away. I'm going to hang up my military fatigues, and I'm going to pursue professional wrestling full time. Flip, Moscow, Idaho. I mean, do they even have a Wawa there? What's what the heck is there to do there, though? <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't even hear of a Wawa until I moved to Massachusetts and started traveling in the New York area. But um, yeah, there's not much there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so we safe to say it's not South Beach. No, I mean it gets cold in the winter. Uh, it gets fairly hot in the summer. Um, it was fun. It, it was a college town. Um, it's got good memories. It's got bad memories, just like everywhere else. Oh, man. And if anything, they must have good potatoes, right? Because it's Idaho. <laughs> oh, man. I love potatoes. So when I lived in Idaho, I made sure I had my fair amount. <laughs> there you go. All right, so Flip, I'll let you get out of here again. Ring of Honor, 16th anniversary, big celebration. Check it out, everybody. The talent of Ring of Honor from the opening match, the pre-show, to the main event. Just quality stuff. You guys are actually going to be coming down to Florida, Lakeland, and West Palm Beach uh, the end, toward the end of April. So, Flip, what can, fan, what can our South Florida fans, and you were just here in South Florida for the debut show of Blueprint Pro, which was down here in Deerfield Beach in South Florida. So, you have an inclination of the South Florida fans and the fans of Florida. What can you tell us about Ring of Honor coming to Florida? Oh, it's going to be a must-see event like it always is. Um, with Ring of Honor, you never know who's going to show up. You never know what's going to happen. Um, it's some of the most hungry, passionate uh, professional wrestlers in the world putting on the best wrestling on the planet. Um, so it's a must-see event. I'm going to be there. Um, all the ROH talent is going to be there, and we look forward to seeing all the fans there as well. There you go, Flip. Thank you so much. And, hey, great job at Blueprint Pro debut show going against Matt Cross, a.k.a. Son of Havoc. And just your experience with that, it seemed like you guys main evented that match that night, that show, the card. Just seemed like an incredible match that you guys had so much fun in there. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think that was my second or third time working with Matt Cross. So it was a lot of fun. Me and him have great chemistry. We have similar backgrounds. Uh, that being gymnastics and break dancing, so it was really cool. Break dancing. Wait a minute now. Break dancing. I didn't know this. All right, I'm gonna let you go. But but the break dancing. So w was this something back in the day? Were you interested? I mean, break dancing was huge a while ago. You had movies about break dancing and all. Was was this another avenue you might venture into? Um, I loved dancing as a kid, so I kind of self-taught as a break dancer. I used to dance at all my school dances. And then actually when I was in college, um, I did a couple battles um, in club and actually like 
real actual battles where the winner gets prize money and stuff. Um, so it was something that I just did for fun. I didn't really think of pursuing it professionally. It's just something I did on the side. Okay, Flip, did you get the prize money? Come on. I didn't. I came up short. Oh, oh man. I made, it, I made it to the second round. All right, at least, all right, at least you weren't last. Uh, <laughs> we had to go again, and then they, they were friends with him, so I think I was a little... I think they favored him just because they're friends. There's always there's politics everywhere, Flip. What's wrong with this world? <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. That's right. <laughs> All right, Flip, listen, thank you so much. Ring of Honor, 16th anniversary, Friday, March 9th. That's, check it out. It's going to be great. Ring of Honor will be in Florida, West Palm Beach, Lakeland, the end of April. That'll be great. Thank you so much, Flip. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.